What's up, YouTube? I'm hungry, and welcome to my backyard, all right? If you're new to the channel, find the subscribe button and smash it. Make sure you find the like button and hit the like button too, all right? If you've been here a thousand times, welcome back. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Today, I'm cooking a steak. Not just any steak. Look at this piece of steak. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that steak. I got me this T-bone steak. Look at the marbleization on this steak, right? This is a porterhouse from Amazon, actually. So I got this piece of meat off Amazon. All right, I think it cost me like $30, right? Not the most expensive thing um, that I've ever cooked in here in the backyard, but a $30 steak for just for me to eat? Oh, it's going to be good, son. And you know I'm a fat ass and I like to eat. All right, you know, we're not going to have very many ingredients for this cook because we're going to cook this a bit differently, all right? We're going to put it down here in this deep fryer. Oh, I got a new deep fryer. I got this local deep fryer. It comes with this little itty bitty fry kit, but it also comes with this big old pot. Son, you're going to see me do a shrimp boil soon, but for now, I want to deep fry up this steak, all right? We only got a few ingredients. We got some canola oil, right? We got the steak. I don't think seasoning is going to stick in the fryer, right? So I got me some butter here, and I'm going to mix up some uh, SPG with it, right? I got my fryer oil. It's right under 400 degrees. I'm using canola oil, so canola oil, is the smoke point of canola oil is like 400 degrees. So if I keep it under 400 degrees, then it'll go smoky smoky. But here we go. Here goes our test. It's gonna bubble up some. I'm sure there's a lot of moisture in this steak. This should not be hard to do at all. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that there is a deep fried $30 steak. It's gonna go, we're gonna let it go. The temperature just raised. We're just gonna let it be. We're gonna see what happens. Guys, if you need to regulate your temperature, over here on the kit it sends you, they send you, it comes with this little, this little knob. You turn it, what, counterclockwise for off, clockwise for on, you do your business, you watch your steak, guys, we're going to be back when that bubbling calms down a little bit. I bet you that steak's going to be good, son. Guys, <laughs> I lifted it up just a little bit, just to look at let's just come down here and look let's see this right look at this look at that look at that i'm gonna let it sit there just for a second while i turn off the uh the gas all right you're gonna hear a little pop of noise oh yeah close this all up we're done there son look at that steak oh my god i wonder what the bottom looks like The bottom's even better. Look at that. Put it on this cutting board over here, all right? Mm, mm, mm. That's lovely, son. This is a fat boy's dream right here. Hold on now. Hold on now. We got to take our butter. We got to be quick with this, right? It is butter here. Remember, SPG and butter, all right? I don't know how much is what. All I know is I put it in here. I'm going to mix it in there, right? Kind of looks like I just made me some cinnamon like butter, you know? Like you get, what is that place called, Jess? Um, cracker Barrel, there you go. You get it to Cracker Barrel or something. Look at that, look at that. Just whip that in there real good. I'm just gonna put a little bit, right? Just a little bit on top. Let it do its business, right? Oh my God. Let it do its business. Let that soak in there. This may not be the best steak looking wise, but I bet you it's going to be yummy. Bet you it's going to be yummy. All right, guys, I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes. Just let it relax. Let it digest into itself. Let those juices pull back in. You know, I think that's what happens, you know. I'm not a scientist or anything, but I think when meat gets hot, like it starts to constrict, right? And then you put the butter on there, you're letting it rest. It starts to soak in some of those juices again, son. And that's what I want. You know, it's kind of cold out here and windy. I don't know how long I'm going to let it sit for, but we'll be back in a few. Is it a minute yet? Because I'm hungry. Come on. Is it a minute yet? I want to eat. Ho, 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 ho. I want it in my belly. YouTube. 
I'm not waiting for very long because I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry hippo. All right. Let's cut in this, all right? We got two sides. We got the good side and we got the better side. Let's just see. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you know, it's, it's very, very tender. All right. It's not medium rare, but it's not well done. It's very close to well done, though. Hold on. That little bitch of mine. That's juicy as hell, too. Mmm. Let's try this side. It's still still a little bit more well done than I want, but look at look at that. I hope you can see it. A little bit more done than I want. Look at it. Look at that. Oh my god, the sun. Look at that. Look at look at that crust and those perfect seasons. Mmm. 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 That's really yummy. It's seasoned really good. I like it. I want some more of it. I try. Hold on one second. Let's get this over onto my plate. All right? Mmm. Mmm. Guys. Guys, thanks for coming back to the backyard. All right? Um, I'm not even going to clean any of this shit up. I'm going to eat my steak. Guys, you need to defry a steak. I don't care. Um, if you've never done it, it's not that hard to do. Make sure you buy something that's somewhat decent. You know, you don't want to like a grease fire in your backyard. You know, don't redneck this one up too bad. I'm going to let my wife clean this shit up. Guys, I'm out of here. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.